The documentary feature Senna profiles Ayrton Senna's rise from karting, his three Formula One titles, his battles with authority and the epic and intense rivalry with teammate Alain Prost. He also dueled with Nigel Mansell and Michael Schumacher. But the man he most enjoyed racing is someone that you've probably never heard of. I, I would have to go back to uh, 78 and 79 in 1980 when I was go-kart driving as a teammate for <laughs> Fullerton named Fullerton. He was very experienced and I enjoyed very much that driving with him because he was fast, he was consistent, he was for me a very complete driver and it was pure driving, pure racing. Terry Fullerton is a former world karting champion and one of the most respected driver coaches in the business, nurturing the careers of IndyCar's Justin Wilson and F1's Paul DiResta, among others. He was Senna's karting teammate in the late 1970s and their respect was mutual. He was very quick on the first day. I mean, you, know, you could tell he had bundles of natural ability and... Um, he was an intense kid as well, very intense and obsessed about what he was doing. And he was a naturally gifted driver, um, probably the most naturally gifted driver I've ever come up against. So, um, and then, you know, once you learn and you, you put together a professional outlook on what you're doing and you become a complete driver, then, you know, you got a, a world beater, which he was. Fullerton was a few years older than Senna and he often had the edge over the Brazilian. And on one occasion, when Senna perceived that he was beaten unfairly, he just had to get even. He was obviously upset about this and seething inside. It wasn't going to go away easily. And the next day I was messing around with my mechanic by the hotel pool. And um, I noticed I had him sitting in one of the seats near the pool, looking fairly upset um, or not particularly happy. And uh, at some point, when he decided he'd line me up fairly well, he just rushed at me and forced me into the pool, you know. It wasn't a big deal, but there was some, you know, there was some genuine malice in what he did. It wasn't just for fun. Senna was only ever really happy when he was winning, but for all his success in Formula One, it seems that his happiest days were in karting. There wasn't any politics then, right? And no money involved either. So it was real racing and I, I have that as a very good memory. Fullerton could have pursued a career in Formula One himself, but his brother had been killed racing motorbikes and he didn't want his family to suffer another loss. Senna was killed at Imola in 1994, just months after he'd so publicly praised his former teammate. A tragic reminder that perhaps Fullerton had made the right decision. Don Riddell, CNN, London.